Hi, I'm Ben Canning. This micro lecture is on mass versus weight. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and to do your follow-up questions on the Google form. Now, mass is the measure of how much matter or stuff is in an object. So here we have an example of a small rock. Um, it doesn't have very much material in it versus we have an example of a large rock where there's much more stuff there. And therefore, it's harder to push on. And we'll get to that connection in a little bit. Now, mass is how much matter is an object. It's not its volume. While they are very much related, um, they are not the same thing. So again, like I said, mass, how much stuff or matter is in an object versus volume is how much space it actually takes up. Um, again, not the same thing. So to help illustrate that, we've got a couple examples. For example, small feather and a gold brick. Uh, the difference between these, the feather has a small mass. The brick has a large mass or a large amount of matter in this guy, but only a small amount in this one. An example of a small volume versus large volume, we have here uh, the same small feather, doesn't take up very much space, and here we have a large balloon which takes up a fair amount of space, but probably not very heavy or massive in that sense. So to help illustrate the difference, um, a feather would be a good example of small mass and small volume, versus a large balloon would be small mass but still a large volume. Uh, uh, an example of a small volume or relatively small volume but a large mass is one gold bar versus if we had like Fort Knox or a whole stack of them that would be large mass and large volume. It both is very massive, lots of stuff in it um, or matter in it uh, and it also takes up a fair amount of space in a warehouse etc. Now volume we won't use very much in this class but its variable is V. Um, it's usually measured in liters or milliliters. It can also be in cubic centimeters. Um, and it's how much stuff, or sorry, how much space an object uh, takes up. Now, mass is the amount of matter, atoms, etc., in an object. Its variable is m, uh, and its units are in kilograms. Sometimes we'll use grams, but usually we'll be using kilograms in this class. Remember, mass, not the same thing as volume. All right, so that was mass and volume. Now let's get to the difference between mass and weight because you might be thinking, oh, big rock, that's like heavy, it's got a lot of weight, um, and so you might think it's the same thing as mass, but they're not. They're very much related, but they are not the same thing. So to help illustrate the difference between mass and weight, let's consider the same box, um, and let's take that box from Earth to the moon to outer space. Uh, weight is a force. It's the force due to gravity. So it's a vector. It means it has a size and a direction and um, it changes with gravity. So here uh, the weight of this box on Earth might be 10, uh, sorry, 100 newtons, um, but the weight of this box on um, the moon would only be 16 newtons and the weight of this box in outer space far away from all other planets would be zero newtons. That's because gravity here is zero, gravity here is about 1.6 meters per second squared, and gravity here is about 10 meters per second squared. So we can see that with gravity, the weight changes. However, if we focus on the mass, we notice that the mass does not change. There's still the same amount of like stuff in this box. Just by taking it to the moon, it's not like it got cut in half. Now it uh, has less weight, but it would still be equally hard to accelerate or throw if we were in outer space in that sense. So to recap, um, and a little bit of a comparison between mass and weight. Mass is a scalar. It doesn't have a direction. It's just the amount of stuff. There's no direction to that. Versus weight is a vector. It has a direction and is a force. That means mass has a magnitude versus weight has magnitude plus direction. Um, again, remember that mass is the amount of matter or stuff in an object, and gravity would be how much, or sorry, weight would be how much gravity pulls down on that object. A couple examples are uh, measurements in grams or milligrams or kilograms versus weight. We usually measure in newtons in uh, physics class, but in everyday life, we often measure it in pounds. One last thing to remember, mass not affected by gravity. So your mass is the same here as it is on Earth versus weight would change depending on where you are. Um, last but not least, before we go, how to calculate weight. Uh, so weight in this case, capital W, is going to equal to your mass times the value of gravity wherever you are. Um, it's measured in newtons. Um, on Earth, we will use G um, to represent the value of gravity at the surface of the Earth, or the acceleration due to gravity. And we will use 9.8 in this class, or 10, your choice. 
if we uh, are imagining something on another planet, we would sub in whatever value gravity is on that planet instead of 9.8. So quick little recap, volume, how much space something takes up, mass, how much matter is in it, and grav or weight is how much gravity pulls down on that object. Now it's important that you always label things as weight, not as gravity, when you're talking about the force. You can also call it force due to gravity, or force with like a little g um, down beneath it, but you do not want to label it as just g, since g, uh, the variable, or uh, yeah, g the variable is 9.8 meters per second squared, and is an acceleration, not a force. That's it, three or more bullet points worth of notes. One to two sentence summary, and please do your follow-up questions on Google Forms. And here are the image credits.